Hello from our little tiny camper van. Um, this is a swell little trip we're taking to celebrate the end of coronavirus. Coronavirus is over. That's what we've been told. No one has said that actually. Uh, my birthday was a few days ago and this is a little birthday treat, a little camping, camping in a car. And um, school starts again on Monday, so yeah. it won't matter anyways. Because we're gonna get first. We're, we're all gonna die. It's cute and I, I added the banner and bunting. the bunting and the, the little fairy lights, which is exciting and cute. And it's really, it's pretty perfect. Like it's a bit cramped, but I think the only way it would be more perfect is if there was like a couple more inches on the ceiling because I was like hunched over my dinner like a goblin. It's fine, except I went to wash my face and there were a million little buggies and like spiders hanging out with me in the toilet and flying up into my face and and the sink was covered with in what I thought were dead fruit flies, but they were very much alive. So that was fun turning on the water and having them all just go whoosh. Uh, I'm finally gonna start this book, Ink Heart. The thing, I think I've read Ink Heart is the thing. And I only say I think I've read it because I don't know if I read it or if my sister told me so much about it that I thought that I read it. And then I eventually watched the movie, so like maybe my mind's just filling in the gaps. I mean, I used to do this thing too where my sister um, would play all these games and I would play them too, but only like in your mind. so much of it. No, I would play like, like I loved playing Final Fantasy IX, but I never really left the kingdom in like the first part of the story. But I know the story so well because I watched my sister play it. But anytime anyone asks like, oh, have you played this game? Have you played this game? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Even though I just watched my sister play all of it. It's almost the same thing. Yeah, that counts. Thank you for taking me to the middle of nowhere for my birthday, which is the perfect quarantine birthday. <laughs> Quar well, I knew it was your favorite place. Quarantine while not quarantining. It's like a little sleepover yeah. in our car. We're gonna talk about boys. I'm gonna tell them about the boys that I like. I'm reading a book too. What are you reading? Uh, Machines Like Me. My mom sent it from England. At first I thought it was Ian McKellen and I was really yeah. excited. Ah, right. I thought it was the like author. the autobiography of Ian McKellen and it's not so. I was a little disappointed, but oh. it still sounds fun. Just another book by Ian McKellen. Um, but I'm I'm really enjoying it because it's it the ties in with a lot of my interests with like AI and stuff and it's kind yeah. of like it's set in an alternate universe where Alan Turing instead of killing himself was like he became like a pioneer in like robotics and computing and stuff and like in this world because he survived like gay rights like got started a good 30 years earlier. That sounds cool. That's great. Your mom really picked a good book for you then. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, mom. <laughs> if you're watching this, She's she not, never will. No, please don't. <laughs> My videos are embarrassing. <gasps> oh my god. Well, we fulfilled this quota for embarrassment. I'm joking, I love you. Okay, goodbye. Oh, I wasn't filming. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't have put it past you. <laughs>
just like how you wear turned down colors to be much prettier. I'm, d I'm cold. <laughs> it's cold out here. So you need a hot pink to warm you up. This is the only jacket that I brought with me that is not a pullover, so yeah. I'm hungry, I bought a calzone. Curry soup though, should be good. Is that a so soup curry then? Yeah, I assume curry soup is like the curry that you get in rice curry flavored soup. That's what I'm hoping. Expert Seth is driving this van in twisty twirly kind of ways. We're on the hunt for a bridge. If you've seen a bridge, please contact Seth or Malon. Contact Malon, I'm driving. Okay, Seth's driving, that's dangerous. Don't don't contact Seth. Uh, we just had lunch at this bakery and it was like a bit fancy and a bit expensive. I'm sorry. But um I had the best calzone of my life, so I'm really happy. And now we're on the hunt for this bridge, and we're hoping we can we can pull over here. Yeah, but well, do you want no, to? The, th the thing is, are we on the bridge, or are we gonna see the bridge? Because if we're on the bridge, we're not on the bridge. No, but is that a coyote? It's a fox. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. I wish I had food for him. He wasn't scared at all. It's just no. like, he just looked at us. I thought it was a coyote because I'm from the desert. No, I thought that was really weird that there was a coyote out there. It's a fox. Hi. Hello. I see we just parked on the side of the road now, and uh... I'm thinking of having a little nap. Are you having a little roadside nap? Because we have this, this we could set up the bed. Put the curtains up. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, you have a camper van, you can move the camp anywhere. Daytime camping. It does so good at nights. Yeah. Or you can read. Yeah, in the sense. Show sure. time. We're in like little woods. We have this night. It's all made of wood. I'm looking forward to it now. Okay, well, I guess. Lazy time. Let's go out in. Maybe you shouldn't have your phone on the floor. to have a not nap. Road time. Driving on a road. We're driving on a road. Please God, load music. Aww. Sorry, continue your road time song. Driving on a road and we're driving and driving on a road. Road time driving. That's what I said. We drive down roads with our own heads attached to our bodies. Which is a strange place for it to be, but it's a road time drive. Come on and sing it with me. Road time drive, road time driving, road time driving, road time driving down the road. This is a real song, and we didn't just make it up. She's singing it. He's singing it. And We're we all singing, singing it now. Oh my God, that scared me. These. The yeah. There were arrows like pointing time. the other way. What is your favorite uh, travel spot that you've been to in Japan since you 
travel spot. Like, where's it? Where's the best place you've ever traveled to in Japan? Because I really like Hakodate. It's beautiful there. Uh, it was probably one of the places on the road trip that I went on my 26th birthday. So right before you met me. Right before I met you, and travel spots have been going downhill since then. I mean, Aww. we're going literally uphill right now. We went to the like sulfur, sulfur mountain, sulfur volcano. It was pretty cool. That's cool. I wonder if we'll find that bridge. Do you remember the the bridge? Yeah. From the legends. Legend has it there's a bridge around these parts. But it's such this a nice day out here in Karuizawa. Watch my camera whoosh out the window. 